Okay, I want to show you how to bring your character generated with character generator and uh, in, through, into 3D Studio Max and also put it into motion with biped. Uh, first of all, I'm going to bring the the FBX file that you get from character generator. So we do it through the import menu. So go import and I'm going to find the the folder, it was this one here, and this one here. And when I open it, I just use the defaults and say OK. And uh, 3D Studio Max brings the character, you know, textures and all. The only problem is that this character is not, it does have a skeleton on it. If you go into wireframe mode, you're going to see the skeleton, but the skeleton is not rigged. Uh, it gives you the option of um, you know, you, you rig it uh, or you can use biped. Um, since this class is fairly short and we don't have that much time to work on the rigging, a proper rigging for the character, is to use the method that they suggest on the, on the website, the one that is on the link that was posted to the discussion thread. So um, for that we go to the scripting menu set, uh, you know, with the character selected. Sorry about that. There you go. And scripting, run script, and uh, let's find once again the folder where the script is. It's this one here, character generator FBX to biped. And then say open. And you're going to see a lot of things happening real fast. It's, uh, that's what scripting does. It just pretty much automates a series of functions or uh, uh, you know, a sequence of events that you do, you can put it on a script that is automated. It's kind of like what you do in Photoshop. Photoshop has the same um, feature. So say OK when it says that it's completed. And now you have your character with biped. It's, uh, you know, something that you can select any of the joints and, you know, set keys on them. You see? It's, uh, it goes together. Uh, Biped does, oops, sorry, Biped does have uh, some things that you have to kind of play with a little bit. Um, let's take a look on the motion tab. The, 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 the main node is this one here in the center. Uh, it's called Biped 01. Um, then you go to the motion tab over here and you can see the tools that we're going to be using. Um, for this example, I'm going to use the key info section and the key framing tools. Okay, those two. Make sure they're up so that you can see what I'm doing. Um, setting keys on the on the body is fairly easy. On the hands and feet, however, it's uh, it's a little bit more. Um, it can be a little bit more confusing because of um, of the planting tools that uh, I'm going to show you what what happens. Uh, let's say that you want to rotate maybe the hip. Uh, you know, maybe you want to make the character go side by side, you know, to do a, uh, a little dance like the exercise says. Um, what you can do is use the uh, keyframing tools over here for, you know, for that specific um, uh, bone. Uh, so I'm going to go set a key over here and as, let's say over here. Set a key and on frame 60 let's say set a key. And the character is uh, moving. If you notice you, the keys are, are over there, you know they're just uh, very small but they're there. Okay? And uh, that's one way you can animate and you can get any joint that you want and you can uh, make the character go forward if you want, go back, you know you can do any movement that you want, okay? Uh, just make sure that you use the, you know, the, the key over here, okay? Um, because we're using biped, uh, I suggest to stay away from using the, the keys down here. Just set the keys um, individually for whichever uh, joint you're going to use, okay? Uh, when we come back next, we're going to go over the feet, uh, which um, uh, has some tools that uh, just as the of the hand uh, that I'm going to demonstrate what you can do.